Hello, my friends. Welcome to this new video. In this time, we're going to talk about Emulate 5000, how we can use it to emulate a PLC from home. So for this, we're going to need a Studio 5000, Emulate 5000, Factory Top View, and our links. So let's get started. Uh, here, we're going to start with uh, Studio 5000. We're going to do a new project. So for that, we're going to click here on New Project. And we're going to select Emulate 5000. We have all these options. We're going to use this one. And we're going to put the name, whichever you want. In this case, I'm going to put Test. And I'm going to save it on Desktop. So next. Here, we, I'm using the version 30. Whichever you are using, it's no problem. The only thing you, you're going to think about is uh, it has to be the same, uh, the emulate than the studio or Earth, Earth logic, whatever you're using, OK? So here, we're going to just finish. And while it's opening, I can open the emulate 5000. So here, I already have a controller, but for, I'm just going to do the example how we can add one. I'm going to add the number three. We're going to use the two, but we can add the three just to show how to do it. It's pretty easy. Just right click, create. This case is going to be slot three. I'm going to select emulate controller 6570. I, I do OK, and here, well, you select your version. I have the, I'm going to use 30 and uh, the memory, and just next and finish. It's so simple. So uh, that's all you need to know about uh, Emulate 5000. So now we have two PLC, but we're going to use only one, the number two. So here, for in order to use it, of course, we need the Earth links. In this case, I don't have the emulate added, so I'm gonna add it here. I'm gonna look for virtual backplane, add new. You put the, the name, whichever you want. In my case, it's gonna be just emulate. It's gonna be on the emulate, okay. And slot is okay, zero, and close. So here, now we can see the two PLCs, the version 30, so we are good here. So now, the next step, so we're going to connect the Studio 5000 with Emulate, which is super simple. It's the same that you do whenever you are connecting to any other PLC. So who's active? I go to Emulate, select the wherever is your PLC. In this case, it's number two, slot number two, go online. And here it's going to ask you to download exactly the same that a, a real PLC, just do download download and that's it so while this downloading we can go and open factory talk view where we're going to do a small simulation which is going to be a push button and an indicator so here we're going to do a new one let's do the same na name test create so here so now the plc is already connected here we can go to room mode, yes. So now we are exactly the same that if we have a PLC at home. So we can start doing changes and logic. In this case, we're going to do a simple logic. It's going to be a push button and a indicator. So let's say that the first is going to be a PB or push button. And right click to create a new tag. OK, we have it here to create the new tag. It's going to be a bool, boolean, a scope test, do create. And here we're going to do a name, whatever. We, you can see it could be a lamp. Let's say that is a lamp. So right click, new, and create. So now we're going to assembly uh, this wrong, and yes. And now it's ready. OK, for example, in this case, I can just toggle this. Uh, let's go to toggle bit. When I toggle it, the output is, in this case, or the coil is on as well. So that means that our program is working, the simplest program that we can do. But now we're going to do it through the factory talk view. So we come here, the, our new project is open. We go to display. The first thing I want you to do, if you, whenever you're doing any animation, 
I recommend to right click display setting and go the, for the update rate. So this means how fast is going to update the information from the PLC whenever you are <clears throat> doing the simulation. So here I'm going to select, we can do 0 0.1, 0 0.05. So I'm going to do 0 0.05 since we are doing just it's in a small program, so we can do the maximum rate. So here we just need to do OK, and we need to close and open. I'm going to save menu, and now we can start working. So uh, before that, we're going to do a another change, which is to add the factor to length communication. So we go to communication, setup, and here what we're going to do, we're going to create a new one. And we're going to add the, the the connection to the PLC. So here, let's see, we click here. So we can see here the PLC. Sometimes you cannot see the PLC, especially when you you just uh, install your Studio 5000 or your Factory Top View. So sometimes you have to do this. Uh, no, it's not here. It's here. Yeah, show all devices. Sometimes you do this and you cannot see the PLC, so you have to do this, show all devices. In this case, of course, I, ha I have not that program, that problem because I, long time ago I, is when I installed all this program, so I just want to do that advice. So here we're going to add, you're going to put the just link or whatever you want to put here is a, for the shortcut. And then you want to uh, select the PLC which you want to connect to. For example, this case is going to be the slot number two. I select and apply. Yes. And now we should be OK on this part. We do OK here. And now <clears throat> we're going to start doing the animation. It's so simple. We're just going to look for a push button. And it should be over here. Yeah. We're going to do a momentary push button click. And we're going to do it here. And for the, in this case, it's going to be, uh, I'll say before, it's simple. We just need to uh, send a signal to the PLC. So we're going to go to Connection, Tag. And we're going to look for the PLC. So we're going to refresh all folders. And here we can see link, the one, the shortcut we just did. And here, and we go to online, we can see the two tags that we just made here. So in this case, because of the push button, we're going to select PV. OK. Apply and OK. So this is going to be the push button. It's ready. Now we're going to do an indicator. We're going to use a circle like we're going to simulate that it's a lamp. OK. We're going to use right click, animation, and we're going to do color. So here we, we can just look for the tag. We, I don't want to overcomplicate it. It's going to be so simple, just whatever we have here. Go tags. Later, we can do a tutorial explaining the animation and push button and everything. This time, it's just something simple. So let's go to lamp, which is going to be our Simulation for lamp, OK. So now we have the lamp, apply, close. And now let's see if it works. So for this, we're going to need to put here in step display. And I close this. So now we can see I push the button. And what we can see is when I push the button, the lamp or the simulation for the lamp change its color. And the same here, we can see that the push button is sending the message or the information uh, to the Studio 5000 through Earthlinks. So in other words, this is coming to Earthlinks. The Earthlinks is sending the information to the uh, to Studio 5000. Studio 5000 makes the decision that we, when we have this on, it means that the lamp has to be on. So that signal is coming to the earth links and it's coming back to factor.view. So all that connection is made 
right now in just a couple minutes. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time.